Hi folks, I'd like to show you the latest feature in the MLIS project, namely dual band support. And this feature was actually pretty simple to implement because MLIS supports full diversity since very long. So all one had to do is to, to make it uh, work with these two frequency bands. However, uh, I probably will not put it into main uh, very soon. And uh, it's not because I'm concerned, but I would like to see a real user using it uh, in, in, in a real world application and not just as a test or on the bench like I do. There is, however, a branch on the GitHub repository where, any, where anyone can uh, use it and look at it. Okay, so what you can see here is a normal setup. So that's, that's a transmitter. The receiver, uh, the transmitter module is, is connected to the back of it. Uh, and here you have a receiver and the receiver is connected to a flight controller, right? So that's uh, just how it works. So on the front, it looks very simple. So this is Yapu script. And if I move the flight controller, you can see that the telemetry is coming in, right? So all the muffling data and so on. Now, what's special about this module is when you look at the hardware. So here, this is an easy to solder board, which I have modified a bit. And here, on the one side, you have the E77 module, which is capable of doing this uh, 868, uh, 915 megahertz. But on the back, there is not an E22 module, which would work in the same frequency range, but an E28 module, which is working in the 2.4 gigahertz, right? And you can see this, this 2G4 uh, written down here as a reminiscence of that. So this module is indeed transmitting on both frequencies and receiving on both frequencies. And here as receiver, we of course uh, have a similar module just with a uh, receiver firmware flash flashed. So that's uh, we'll, maybe you can E77, right? And here it's a E28. Okay, so this just demonstrates that you have that. And now in order to demonstrate that this really works at two different frequencies, I can use as receiver, for example, I can use, for example, this module here. And it's hard to see, but this is a module which only works in the 2.4 gigahertz region. So it has two naked SX1280 uh, uh, chips on it. So that's, so it can't do 900 megahertz. It only works at uh, 2.4 gigahertz. So if I replace now the receiver, when I've uh, adjusted things that it will connect, so like so, um, so it should connect now. Why does so now it's connected? Okay, so you see that uh, the leads blink right, and this only can work now at 2.4 gigahertz because this thing here works only at 2.4 gigahertz, right? And if you look at the Yapu script, and I again move. The flight controller, you can see that the muffling data is all coming in. Now, in order to also show you that this is working also in the 900 megahertz region, I can take another receiver. So that's one which has this VUE5 module, which cannot work at 2.4 gigahertz, um, but works in the 900 megahertz region. So I can replace it now with this. Right, connect it here. Um, okay, it's coming up here, connected. So now I have here this other receiver. You see it's uh, the green LED, so it's connected, right? And this again, this can work now only in the eight, uh, 900 megahertz region, right? And if you look at the YAPU telemetry script, and if I move this around, um, then the telemetry is also working. And of course, the RC data and everything is just working but now it's only working at this one frequency. So this should demonstrate to you that these modules here indeed uh, work at two different frequencies, uh, not only evidenced by the hardware of uh, how this module is built, right? Um, but also by how it functions that you can actually connect to uh, these two different type of receivers. So uh, what I will do next is now to show you this briefly that this thing is not working only on the bench but that you actually can do a flight with it. So we will go to outside. You will just see a few minutes of flight. See you in a second. So the short flight demonstration, the transmitter. I just glued it here to the radio. 
quite the other thing is just glued here to the copter with some tether film and now let's try to fly it 